Hello, welcome to the first moving vlog. Today is the day that I start packing up my life, um, ready for the move. It's currently Saturday, I move on Wednesday, so I have approximately four days, no I have four days, to pack up my life and get myself together, basically. Um, also I have work to do on Monday, Tuesday, so that's why I kind of have to do work work kind of have to do packing today um i'm feeling very tired today i'm not gonna lie because i went out last night not out out but like i was out late last night um so yeah basically that's the situation and i'm thinking i'm probably gonna have to go and buy some more like stuff to pack things into um as well so that's gonna be fun but i'll probably do that tomorrow um, so today is just commence the pack and I think what I'm going to do is start with the clothes because you guys know like the majority of my stuff is clothes or shoes like obviously all of this is shoes and bags um, so I think that's what I'm going to start with obviously it's hard because like I'm packing but I also have to pack like leave out things for like you know the next few like the next four or five days so that's the hard bit because I never know what I want to wear. I never know like what I'm going to want to wear. I'm such a like indecisive person when it comes to clothes. So yeah, we're going to start. We're going to start the pack. It's happening today. I don't know where to start though. That's the problem. I, I think clothes is probably the best option um, because there's definitely clothes that I'm not like reaching for right now. Um, so that is the plan. And I'm going to take you guys along the journey with me. Okay, a little update for you. I'm sorry if you can hear the road. Um, it's so hot in my room, so we're gonna have to deal with it but i've filled two bags these are these ikea bags everyone has them these are heavy may i add but i filled two bags there's still a bit of room in that one so i think i might put a blanket or something in the top of that um i'm now moved on to the third bag and i'm trying to get all the hanging stuff in this bag that's my pile of things to keep out um and this is how the wardrobe is looking this whole side's empty apart from down there which won't take me long to empty and then this is like this, and then I've cleared two drawers. Um, so yeah, it's a process, it's a process. I'm gonna have to go to Ikea tomorrow morning and buy some more of these bags because um, I have a whole load of clothes under my bed that need to be sorted, that need to be packed. And also, I have um, all my coats. <laughs> So yeah, but it's going well so far. I do also have my suitcases so I can put things in those too. Yeah, just, you know, slowly tackling it, but I'm very warm. Um, no, well, I don't know why, but every time, sorry, every time I move, it's really, really hot. Like, okay, when I moved here, I moved here in February, it wasn't hot, but like whenever I move out somewhere, it's always, always so hot hot when i moved out of my flat um in amsterdam um and then moved back to the uk it was like you know like it was so sweaty it was so hot today isn't that bad but it's just warm in my room um so yeah i kind of need to get my fan out but also can't be bothered to get my fan out because i'm moving <laughs> so Gonna do without it, but anyway, I've just finished watching Hairspray and I'm now on to watching Enchanted. So, so that is what we're doing. Oh god, I've, I've clicked something and I can't get off it. Little update for you I have all the bags that I've packed here. There's a little bit of space in this one, so I'm just gonna fill it up. And this is the state of my bed. <laughs> yeah um it's a process i've moved the rail that was here and that's currently now over there i need to take it apart and put it downstairs because it's not mine um i borrowed it from one of the other girls um yeah so this is the situation and i haven't even scratched the surface so mm. hello 
Um, I'm sat on the floor for one reason only, and that's because I just came back from Ikea. There's an Ikea in Hammersmith, they do like all the little bits and bobs. And I basically went there to get one thing only. <laughs> and of course I came back with loads of stuff. So I thought I'd actually just do a haul now because I'm gonna be end up like putting all this stuff in various different places so I might not get a chance to show you. And obviously some of this stuff I need to use, some of the stuff like I will pack in like my new home things bag. Um, so I thought I'd show you. First thing I went in to get were these bags. You know the ones I showed you the clothes in earlier. I got six of them because I've got my coats to do and I've got my shoes to do and I've also got like a whole thing of clothes underneath my bed that I need to um, pack as well. So I got loads and then also I need to put like my duvet in something and I don't really want my duvet to go like free in the removal span. So anyway, I got some of those and then that means come Monday, Tuesday, if I still need any more, I can always go back because it's not too far away. Um, and they're quite light to carry anyway. And then, obviously, naturally, I was wandering around and I picked up so many random things. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, I say random things, but I don't own a lot of like bits and bobs for my new flat. So I just needed to get a few things just to start me off um, when I first move in. So first thing I got was some scissors. I thought these were cute because they were yellow. Um, and you know, scissors are useful. Then I got this little pack of, I don't know what you call these, utensils. Um, again, I don't have, I, I kind of wanted a clippy thing, but I couldn't find one. So I just got those again, just because like, it's good to have something to start off with. Then I got two of these cushions. I actually ordered these online. Um, with my ikea order because i ordered a tv unit but they got they went they went out of stock so um i had i bought them whilst i was there because I, I want them for the sofa and then i got a cheese grater because you know one of the necessities in life then i got two of these these are like tupperware boxes um but they're glass and I just thought, you know what, if I'm gonna be spending money on Tupperware rather than be nice. So I got these, I had loads of different like sized ones and like a circle one, but I went for two like this. You have to buy the lids separately, which is kind of annoying. I think you can get different lids for them as well. Um, so yeah, I got that, so I got two of those. Here's the other one. Um, I thought they'd be really good for like, you know, when I have leftovers from like dinners and stuff. And then, I got two of these, um, I saw these like where these like Tupperware boxes were, they had like a display of like, you know, showing you how you should make your, your space look and they had these there too, next to them and I was like, oh, I like that. I thought this would be quite nice to put like water in or something and have it in the fridge. Um, so I got two of those, I just really liked them. Then I got this. Good old trusty, um, what do you call this, a strainer? Um, because I do actually have one, but it's quite um, thin, so I won't be able to put like loads of food in it. And then I got two little um, baking trays, uh, because, oh, I can't get them apart. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I've got two baking trays, again, good for cooking, um, I don't have anything to cook with, and the last thing I picked up was this, um, little sheepskin rug, and the only reason I picked this up is because the chairs that I want to get for my flat, um, I saw a picture of the chairs with one of them having, like, a sheepskin over the top of it, over the side of it, and I just thought it looked really cool the only reason I bought this. Um, this was like a complete not essential and I bought it anyway. So yeah, those are my new little bits and bobs that I got from Ikea. I'm very excited and I've got another bag to use. Um, but my room is an absolute tip, let me show you. Um, this is the bed where I need to sleep. Um, my wardrobe is like, there's bits and bobs everywhere. There's mess here, mess here. It's a, it's, <sighs> 
it's it's questionable it's questionable the sun is beaming in basically what i think i'm gonna do now is just tidy my bed kind of put stuff where it needs to be and then get in, not get into bed but chill because um i've done a fair amount and tomorrow it means that i can get up and go and just like crack on um with the packing which is exciting because i feel like whenever you're like packing up to move it's so difficult because you forget how much stuff you own and i think until you pack it you're like eh. and then there's also like there's a pile of stuff to get rid of there's a pile of to donate there's a there's a bin bag you know what i mean like there's just stuff everywhere um and then i also have my suitcases and ideally i'd quite like to use my suitcases um and put stuff in them since I've got them but then also because like basically what I think I'm going to do is this is really like you don't really need to know this but I'm going to say it anyway um have like my suitcase and like a few bits like in the taxi when I go there so I don't have like this is one less thing do you know what I mean um but yeah I'm feeling I feel a bit happier now sometimes I feel like you need to just go and do a little bit of shopping get some air but i'm dying of thirst so i need to go and get some water but i will catch you all tomorrow good morning welcome to day two of the pack um it's currently quarter past 11 i've only just got myself out of bed to do something um basically it's sunday so naturally i was going to give myself a lion so yeah last night this is what the situation looks like half of this stuff is not stuff that's packed um like my suitcases are empty those boxes are all empty so there's quite a lot to do today um i'm currently going through the clothes that i've left out to wear for the next few days i'm so picky and like indecisive so i like to have options when it comes to what i'm gonna wear um so I've got quite a few bits, I'm just folding them up, the pieces that like, I am actually going to keep out and stuff that I can probably pack because I'm not going to wear it. Um, so that's basically what I'm currently doing. I put some makeup on so that I feel a little bit like more alive and I have to share this product with you. My friend Megan actually told me about this and I think everyone should know about it um, because I honestly think it's like the best thing that I've bought this summer already and summer's only just started. Um, this is the Ultra Sun SPF face tinted honey situation basically it's a spf for your face but it's tinted and it's essentially just like a moisturizer it's like a tinted moisturizer um but it's got spf in it and i for one really struggle when it comes to like um doing my makeup in the summer or like if i'm just popping out and if my face is like a little bit less tanned than my body it kind of sometimes looks a bit weird but i don't really want to put like something really heavy on my face just to kind of even it out this stuff evens out my skin tone so then like where i am wearing fake tan it just looks a little bit more natural whereas like sometimes when my face is really white and my neck is a little bit more tanned it just looks a bit odd so this is amazing also works as an spf great for those days when you don't really want to put much makeup on but you want to put something on and um, like today i've got this on with a little bit of concealer on some of my spots and then i put a tiny bit of cream bronzer on a little bit of blush just um use a 24 hour brow setter from benefit to like put my eyebrows in place and a little bit of mascara and then that's it so this is really really good and i highly recommend it it's great if you're going on holiday um for like holiday makeup but um my friend megan actually found out about it through hayley bieber apparently hayley bieber uses this and um if hayley bieber can use it and she looks great then i'm all for it but yeah that's what i've got on my face today um and it's so nice for days like today where i want to put some makeup on because otherwise i won't be as productive but I also don't want to be putting on too much because I can't really be bothered to sit there and do my makeup when I'm just staying at home. Um, I've also scraped my hair back because it's greasy. But there's no point me washing it now when I'm about to get hot and sweaty doing my room. So, yeah, but I think the main thing today is packing... Well, I say main thing. My next priority is to pack my coats and the other winter clothes that are under my bed. Um, and then once I've done that, I think I might try with tackle this because there's a lot there and there's a siren will not miss hearing sirens go past my flat every day um where my new flat is it's not right near not too it's this flat I currently live in um is not too far away from a hospital so you can hear sirens like all the time which isn't an issue you get used to it but um 
I'm just, I'm very excited to not hear that all the time. <laughs> I knew I had a lot of coats, but... Um, why are coats so bulky? Like, they're so bulky. I'm hoping I can get a good chunk of them in a couple of these. I think I can. I've got a little bit of space left in this one, so I'm going to put some trench coats in there. And maybe get rid of some of these, because I don't need them all. Like, that trench coat I could probably get rid of. Oh, God. Why do I do this to myself? just squeeze okay so i thought that my winter clothes was looking a little bit low i was like where are the rest of them in the suitcase so i don't actually need to pack half my winter stuff because it's already in my biggest suitcase so this whole suitcase is literally just full of winter stuff so all i need to do is just zip this back up i've just added a few extra bits that were left over from my thing under the bed and that is all of my clothes packed it might have taken like 10, oh, that's not, one, two, three, four. I think seven bags in a suitcase isn't too bad, considering that includes my coats. I'm gonna zip this up, so that, and that's done. And then we can move on to shoes. forgot how big this suitcase is like my hip is here the top of my suitcase is here I mean that doesn't really show you much but it's so big like look at that but at least all my winter clothes are nicely packed oh look at the mess I think next is shoes to tackle and then most of what's under the bed is out which is good um, but I don't have a lot of place to store things so we'll see how this goes Especially as I have to film some stuff tomorrow, so <laughs> yay! But yeah, also this little dress that I'm wearing is like a little um, sports dress. It's got like a it's like a play suit. Um, it's from Oisho. Um, it's really comfortable. I just put it on because it feels like summery, but it's also incredibly comfortable. So that's what I'm wearing today. Hair straight back. Right, let's. Let's tackle the shoes. Right, so I've decided to tackle bags first because obviously I have some designer bags and one thing I huh, really want to make sure is that all of my like nice expensive stuff is in a suitcase rather than one of those bags in case like things get squashed. So I know that there's like a good chunk of my shoes here like my Converse and stuff and ones that are really worn that I don't care about them getting squashed or whatever but obviously the trainers that I wear a bit nicer that I spent money on like these ones I don't want them to get crushed and squashed so they're going to go in the suitcase along with like my expensive designer bags um, and then all of my like little ones that aren't um, designer bags I might put in with my shoes so my shoes and my bags will go in like one of those, one of these bags. Um, so that is the plan of action. I'm also going to try and get rid of some, potentially. The trainers I'm not going to be getting rid of because I have so many of those. Um, but like, yeah, I think that's the plan at the moment. I also need to go through all of these boxes up here. Behind this brown one is like a ton of trainer boxes. And obviously, for, for the most part, some of those will be coming with me. Like the box for my Dior trainers, um, stuff like that, but also half of them I can get rid of because the only reason I kept them was because I didn't want to, like, say I have these trainers and I've decided, oh, I actually don't like them, I want to sell them, and I've not worn them, then I can sell them with the box. Um, but I think for the most part, all of these trainers have been worn and will not be sold. So, yes, that is the plan of action. I'm now going to try and get my um, bags in here. 
I'm also incredibly sweaty and I looked at the um, forecast for Wednesday when we move, when we move. I say we like it's, it, 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 it's me. <laughs> It's just me. Um, my friend Megan's coming to help me, but um, it's going to be really hot. So, <laughs> really not looking forward to that. It's going to be a sweaty day, but it's also going to be, like, so exciting. So, and I'm trying to condense everything I can into, like, small amounts of things, rather than having tons and tons of stuff in loads of different bags and boxes. Obviously, naturally, I'm going to have a lot of stuff, but I don't want to be taking... I don't want it to be, like, too much, you know what I mean? I get so nervous that they're going to come and be like... We can't fit this in here. And I'd be like, oh, okay. But I think it'll be fine. They're literally taking apart my wardrobe. So I think they'll probably have a good size van with them. <laughs> um, but yeah, right. I'm going to tackle this and I'll give you an update. Isn't this just such a pretty sight? All of my bags in dust bags. They just look so pretty. I had this bag above my wardrobe. No, my shoe shelf. That had all of the extra dust bags in. Which is also covered in dust. So we move. Um, and I've managed to fit the majority of them. Apart from this one bag. In this side. Which is really good. So I'm going to zip that up. And then I'm going to put my nice shoes and stuff in this side. There's literally sand in here from when I went to Ibiza. Um... So that's good, and then these, like I said, these other bags will go elsewhere. But I'm glad that it will fit in. The only one I haven't put in is my Celine bag. This is the dust bag for it, which is here. Um, that's currently got stuff in it, so I am not going to pack that one. But do I need any of the others out? Probably not. So yeah, how exciting. Now onto the shoes for this suitcase, and then the suitcase is packed, which is good. Um, I actually, like, this is such a sad sight because I love this and I probably should try and take this apart. I might be able to try and take this apart myself. Um, because this is going with me. It's my new flat. I don't even know if this will end up staying because basically in my new flat I have a storage cupboard. First of all, the ceilings aren't as high in my new place. Um, and second of all, the storage cupboard, I don't actually know what's going to fit in there but ideally my essential initial thought with this storage cupboard because it's a good like boxy style storage cupboard is to have these shelves or at least this shelf and I'll buy more shelves for it and it just be my shoe storage and have all my shoes on there because the hallway is really small um so that is like my initial first thought and that's what I'd like to do but also I don't know if it's gonna fit so it's coming with me and then if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out it's not the end of the world um but yeah, it could also go in my bedroom, but I'm trying to make everything quite nice and not like cluttered. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm going to try and get my shoes, my shoes, my trainers into the suitcase. And I'll update you as to the progress, as always. <laughs> update, we've got an array of shoes in here. That I couldn't fit as many as I thought I would, but it's fine. So they're in there. And then I put the majority of my shoes are in this bag. It weighs a ton. Um, and then I've only got a few more pairs. Oh god, I forgot about those ones. Um, I've only got a few more pairs left. These ones I'm going to chuck. Um, and then I've got these. And then I've got these boots. And my Dior trainers are there. Um, so, you know, shoes are pretty, pretty good. It's just, you know when you don't realise how much space things take up. And like, that shoe bag is fucking heavy. So, um... Apologies in advance to the removal men who are going to hate me. But I'm going to use the little spare gaps in here to stuff some of the bags that I have just to make the most of the space. And then that will be that one done. But I swear to God, you don't realise how much, like how much space things take up until you pack them. And then you're like, oh, not ideal, but it's fine, it's fine. Oh, my Dior box. I have so many things. I'm going to try and use like some of the stuff, the boxes I have for things as storage and packing solutions because I don't know actually know what else to do. I've only got about three or four like boxes to pack the kitchen stuff that I have, which is not a huge amount, but like it's it's a it's stuff and my beauty stuff and any other like bits and bobs around this room. So I'm hoping it all fits fingers crossed <laughs> right change of plan <laughs> i'm gonna do beauty products because if you i don't know if i've ever shown this probably not 
oh my god, getting around everything is so difficult. In here, in the bathroom, I have all of my beauty products, it's pretty much all of them. Um, and I've got two boxes under there, but I obviously like need to pack them some way. So I'm going to use this box because realistically I'm not sure what I can pack in this box that's like, because it's a bit of an odd shape, I just saved it from a delivery. So this is what I'm going to do now, pack these bits in here um, and hopefully they'll fit and it won't be the biggest, weightiest thing ever. Um, but like, you know when you're like, I'm not, today's Sunday, ugh, I said that really weird, today is Sunday, I move on Wednesday morning. So I've got two more days but I do have to work tomorrow um, and obviously I don't want to leave anything to the last minute. So, commence beauty product packing. still got a few bits here I managed to get most of this stuff in this is my little pile of stuff that I will need for the next few days slash want ready for when I move this is my little stash for Megan <laughs> and then I still need to go through these but I'm actually going to go through these boxes properly because I've not properly gone through these in ages um but it's looking pretty good that's not my stuff up there so I don't need to worry about that and I have little bits here and I've got my stuff over there so I probably do need to do another box unless I can make some space here but first box is done i'm just going to fill the gaps with any little skin carry bits i have in here but you know you just keep finding things like some of the stuff in here is empty and i'm like what was i doing why did i put it back so I'm pop that in there but i always get nervous like what if all of this stuff like bursts but i think it'll be fine what's this you can see like some of the products that i've had that i've not even like touched because i've just had so many um like, I feel like sometimes when you don't see what you're doing. Um, what's another size? Anyway, I'm going to carry on. I think the bathroom is done. Um, so these are like my bags, little makeup bags, which will hold all of the leftover products. So I've got like a few bits in there because I need to have a shower later. And then these bits, this, um, and I need to figure out what I'm going to do this and my tanning stuff. Um, and then I have two boxes under here which are all taped up. I thought I might as well use them because I have them. And then this box I showed you earlier and then that box, all of beauty products. Look at the state of my room. Oh, this is the one thing I hate about moving is the state. Am I in pickles over here? Oh, I look a state too, oh gosh. It's a state of everything. But now I've done the bathroom, I don't need to worry about um, boxes so much because like I've literally done that and that's the only, the only other thing that I really really need a box for is the few bits I have from the kitchen um so that makes me feel a little bit better and then once I know that like okay so all the stuff is done in the bathroom I've got all of the stuff my coats out it's just kitchen stuff and like the rest of the random crap in my room so it's getting there it's very slow very very slow next thing i'm going to do is sort out the boxes above my wardrobe so that i can chuck those as well with the bins tonight um and that means on wednesday there won't be so much rubbish but um yes it's going well i'm tired it's a long process but i'd rather be done in advance then delayed and also i'm so sorry if this vlog is so long i hope you're enjoying it um oh my god the mess is just like slowly killing me inside but we move <laughs> i'll tell you what it is pure chaos in here like pure and utter chaos but all trainers and shoes are away there's a few bits and bobs on there and you take those down um found some big tote bags so i can put bits and bobs for when i leave on the day um this is all we're getting there we're so slowly getting there um obviously all these are packed i think i'm gonna have to go out and get some more of these tomorrow because like even though i can stuff some bits in some of these where there's a bit of gap um i think i'm gonna need a few more that is the most random bag of things 
so god knows how I'm going to work out where things are when I move but um, it is getting somewhere I've managed to save three actually I think there's four there's one over there too trainer boxes um, just for trainers that I'm a bit like eh, I don't know whether I'm going to sell or not um, and then yeah I mean it's going good it's going good I have a few things basically the clothing bank which is just on the road it says there's like a notice that it's going to be like removed or something tomorrow so I'm like okay well what other things can I take to the clothing bank now like I've got some old sheets I'm going to take those there um <laughs> otherwise I just I don't know what I'm going to do with that I just have to put them in like, I, bin them I don't know I swear to god it's not getting any better <laughs> actually is getting somewhere um i have some of these bags that i've had from when i moved um here last time which i found which i forgot i had so that's all got that's got hangers random shit in it so that's full and then i think what i'm gonna do with as i said before there's lots of gaps in some of these so if i've got anything like soft or like hair curlers or whatever i'm gonna try and stuff them in to use the space but it is getting somewhere like we are getting there i'm just currently trying to clear the stuff off my bed so i can chill tonight because it's already what is the time 20 past five and i'm like i'm i'm dead to be honest i can't believe i've been going this long and i also still can't get over the fact that i have so much stuff but it is looking good now and I feel a little bit better about it. It means tomorrow I can go into tomorrow knowing that I've packed like majority of my stuff. I'm still gonna keep going tonight, um, because I've just got I've got stuff to do. Um and it means tomorrow I can actually like think about work and do work stuff um and not stress too much about it. But um I'm kind of enjoying it, but I'm also like if I don't do it, I'm just gonna make myself more stressed. So, you know we move but my main thing for this evening now that it's hit five is to clear what's on my bed um which i think is what i'm going to do now and then maybe like do some bits and bobs like whilst i'm watching something later oh my god there's a man walking down the street and he's got no he's like fully dressed like he's got quite a he must be drunk he's got like a fairly smart outfit on but he's just got no shoes on it's like he's lost his shoes like hang on i'm just gonna wait i'm not obviously gonna show you him but i'm just so confused he's in like a very smart outfit and he's just walking along with socks on interesting <laughs>